waiting on right here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Da, 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 da. The amount of money it takes to live compared to millionaires is just so small. Like, I mean, once you have 10, 20 million, it's like, you know. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. What's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here coming at you with another vlog. A little day in the life. Today I got Joe Rosen that drove in from St. Port Lucie yesterday to shadow me today. So you guys know Joe Rosen. I interviewed him a couple months ago. Money's great, money's awesome. But to me now, money doesn't buy parties, man. Money buys more marketing. It buys better audio. It buys better video stuff. It buys more employees. It like That's what money gets is a bigger company so I can do more for more people. He's the guy that uh, started doing social media for St. Port Lucie, like started advertising himself long before he even moved to the area about real estate. Um, so this guy's a beast. He really wants to learn a lot. And uh, this is going to be a pretty fun day. How's it going, man? How you doing? Good. You got all your stuff? I got to walk up. How was the condo? Amazing. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Morning. Okay, guys, so I'm in here with the famous oh, Joe famous. Rosen. Yeah. From the Joe Rosen Show. Quick, quick takeaway for today. Get on the phones and don't get off. All I do is stay on the phones all day. Also, the Hyperfast Agent Summit is coming up. That's going to be November 11th and 12th. Swipe up on the next screen and get 10% off of your ticket using the code RICKY10. Let's go. Hello. Julie. Hey. How are you today? I'm fine. Good. Um, just kind of touching base with you here. We got the closing tomorrow. I'm just assuming I haven't heard anything. The title company, I'm sure, has been in touch with you and everything. Got you docs. Well, they, haven't, they haven't sent the preliminary or holding either. We will tell them to send me something today. Yeah. You, you asked them to send you something today? Yeah, because they have not sent any information about right. closing. Right, which is which is horrible for them not to have done that by now. Right. Okay. Team at realtysouth.com. What's that? Uh, <clears throat> give them my email address. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm fixing it. I'm gonna call them right now. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call the title company now and see what's up and make sure they get you, uh, you all, uh, your HUD and all your docs and stuff today. The, bu yes. the buyer is closing by mail. So you're closing by mail, he's closing by mail, so really won't close and be all done until all the mail gets back to the title company, which you know could happen anytime, I guess, between 10 and two, whenever the mail runs. Mm -hmm. um, and then the buyer's agent is going by, I believe today, if I'm not wrong, to go look at the uh, repairs we made. Mm -hmm. um, and then that'll be that. I think it's going to be okay. a smooth, very smooth deal. I just want to check with you and see if you've gotten anything from the title company. So since I'm not... Glad, I'm, I'm glad you called. Yeah. That's the easiest solution. That's the easiest solution ever. Yeah, man. Just call people. Hey, Ricky. Good morning. Are you? Good. Good. What's up? Nothing. I was digging into this assessment situation. Yeah. yeah. Um, we might. You. I mean, I think it's the HOA that's going to make the final determination on who pays it. Okay. Um, because with an assessment, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, anything that becomes due before closing. Uh, is the seller okay but then anything anything that becomes approved but not doable and payable till after closing should be paid by the buyer That's so, what I was yeah so this is a weird situation I don't know how the HOA will handle it you know they'll have kind of the last word on it them through the title company because the title company will get with the HOA 
and find out how much is left owed. And then okay. they're gonna and then they're gonna refer to the contract as, as far as who pays who pays it. And so and so I'm a little confused on the you know normally it's like okay here you know we have a ten thousand dollar assessment we're gonna pay five thousand a year you know and so with this the way this contract is you know if that five thousand is due you know. November 30th and we close in December the seller's gonna pay that but then the buyer would pay the second one the 5,000 you know but this is like a monthly this has been figured into your dues almost or added to the top of your dues right no they're two separate right they're two separate but they've still been done on a monthly basis correct right and so I just I think it's going to be more up to the HOA and how they how they view this contract. You, you may be okay. You you might be it might be a prorated thing because if it's due each month, you know, then those due dates for the next month are after closing. So you might be safe on this. Well, it's not that big of a month left. Right. Right, not a big deal either way, but I was just trying to figure it all out, you know, and kind of see what was what. So they'll, they'll get it straight at closing though, you know, the, between the title company and the HOA, they'll have it all laid out. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? You working hard? Yep. Hey, Jeff. How are you? Good, how are you? Man, you got a great office. You got a better office than he does. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, look at it, wow. Dude, look at this weather, bro. This is a rainy day, bro. When I listen to, well, when I watch you, it's not complex. You just need to work. Yeah. It's real simple. That's what I say a lot of time in my when I'm talking on stage. You know, I'm like, man, this is it's just so simple. The industry is trying to make it complicated. Yeah. And uh, like the other coaches that are charging you, they're trying to make it seem complicated, and that they yes. have the answer to make it uncomplicated. Yeah. When really it's just simple the whole time. You don't like they're just trying to scare you into paying them. Just thinking right now about all the little projects I'm working on. Do I want to be in this lane? Yeah. Okay. I'll take a look. And uh, I'm not saying they don't matter, but they don't matter as much as just like cut those projects out for an hour, do them half as much uh -huh. the time, uh -huh. and just get on the phones. Yeah. Yeah. I just need more phone time. I keep, you know, I keep thinking like this isn't realistic to watch you 100% because I don't have 20 pending deals to follow up on. It's so. the same thing though. You're either making calls, yes. following exactly. up and taking care of these clients or you're making calls to find clients. You know what I mean? Yep. Like it's it the same matter. exact thing. You just yeah. go and get on the phone all day. Yep. You know, and it, it's like if the market crashed and my business slowed down, I would just get on the phone. Like nothing would change. I would come in, I would do the same thing I did. I would make a list and just start calling people, you know? depending on what, what, what's going on. Whether I'm calling for new business, or follow one up, or sphere of influence, or past clients, or you know, circle prospecting, or spires, or whatever it is. I'm just gonna go get on the phone, yeah. talk to people, see what I can do to help them, you know, keep, keep pushing forward. Yep. The amount of money it takes to live compared to millionaires is just so small. Like, I mean, once you have 10, 20 million, it's like, you know, you kind of quit thinking about money so much, you know, and then you start focusing on, you know, things that really matter, you know what I'm saying? You just kind of have a different perspective from when you don't have anything, you know, and you say, I want money, and then when you get money, you think it's going to be one way, but once you get there, 
it's a totally different ball game. Right. You know, it's not what you think it is. The moment that I quit worrying about getting to the million, that's when I hit the million. You know what I'm saying? The moment I quit worrying about the results and just focused on giving everything out every day, then I got there. Which I was already doing that. I was already giving everything out every day, but I, I didn't realize that little part about being patient. You know, and just letting the results happen instead of trying to force them and getting upset when they don't happen the way I want them to. Like, you really need to just enjoy this part. Because when you get to the million, you're gonna be a different person. You know what I'm saying? Like, enjoy right now. You know, like, give it everything you got every day, but this part of the little process where you're making, you know, two, three hundred grand or whatever, you really need to kind of enjoy it because it ain't gonna last. How was lunch, bro? Lunch was incredible, man. It was a great place. Yeah, GT's on the bay. Yeah, for sure. Oh my gosh! Here we go, bro. <laughs> what is what that? Are waiting on right here. Yeah. This is it, dude. This is it. <laughs> yes, sir. It's the same exact lens. Really? The same exact lens. Why do you want two? Because I have two cameras. I want to get two angles. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm gonna start um, editing a YouTube video and get that sucker uploaded and check on all these deals. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Any last-minute thoughts, Joe? No, just work hard and stay on the phones, man. That's what I'm learning today. I think what he really learned today was that how simple this business really is. And uh, you just gotta work hard, be patient, man. This, this is not difficult stuff. You just gotta do it.